Well done! Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Trouble? Damn. I don't know where they're all hiding. You kill one, and shortly afterwards, they're all back again. Wait a moment. I know you. You're the fellow who was constantly baking arrows for me in the Valley of Mines. Your name is Cavalorn, right? Ah, uh, I see you haven't forgotten me after all we went through in the cursed colony. Where are you heading? To the city. Well, well. To the city, eh? You may run into problems with the guards. They aren't letting just anyone in anymore, since the area here is swarming with bandits. In the past few days, one of those former psionics from the Valley of Mines came by here. He said he constantly goes in and out of Corinus. He went into the valley below the big tower. There must be a way in there somewhere near the waterfall. Maybe you should talk to the fellow. Interesting armor you're wearing. Don't you belong to the Shadows anymore? Shadows? They haven't existed since the fall of the barrier. The moment we could finally leave the Valley of Mines, there was no reason for me to stick with them. Now, I work for the Water Mages. I belong to the Ring of Water. What are you doing here? I'm sitting tight. If it hadn't been for these damn bandits, I wouldn't be here. Tell me more about the Ring of Water. I'm not really allowed to talk about it. All I can do is send you to Vatras. He is the representative of the Water Mages in Corinus. The best thing would be to talk to him. Tell him you've come from me. Maybe he'll take you on as one of us. We urgently need more good people. Weren't you and your people enemies of the Water Mages back then? Those crazy old days are over. There isn't any more new camp or old camp. Now that the penal colony no longer exists, Everyone is on his own. Most of us former prisoners are still being hunted. The water mages were able to get my sentence commuted, and now I can move about freely. What are the water mages doing now? They're up to something big. It has to do with an unknown region of the island. An unknown region? Where is it supposed to be? I can't tell you more. Talk to Vatras in Corinus. What was that about bandits? Have you slept through the last few weeks? Huh? I'm talking about all the riffraff from the penal colony that are making themselves at home here in the area, plundering and murdering for all they're worth. <sighs> I guess I'm lucky they didn't kill me. I let down my guard for one moment, and they clubbed me from behind. No idea how I'll get all my stuff back now. You were robbed by the bandits? Yes. They beat me down and tossed me to the goblins for lunch. It was damned important stuff. A letter and all my money. I absolutely have to get it back. But without someone to watch my back, I'm not going back there. That cowardly rabble. Can I help you with the bandits? Maybe. But as scrawny as you look, you surely haven't held a proper sword in your hand for weeks. Well, I don't have any choice but to take your offer. My time is running out. So, pay attention. Down this path here, you'll find one of those filthy holes in the ground that bandits like to hide in. The fellows there are the same ones who stole my stuff. Let me know when you're ready, and we'll nab the rabble. I need better equipment. 
Those swine haven't left me much. I can give you a wolf knife. Will that do for now? You call that a knife? But what about healing? I still have two healing potions here. Interested? Sure, give them here. Hey, where do you come from, hmm? I've come from the mountains. Exactly, you come from the mountains, and that is bad for you. Very bad. They're looking for you, a whole bunch of evil guys. There's someone here you absolutely have to talk to. Follow me. Who's looking for me? Half of Karinas is after you. And you're trying to tell me that you don't know anything about it? Ah, I see. You just don't want to talk to me about it, hmm? All right, it's your business. So, are you coming or not? Maybe later. There won't be a later for you, pal. Hey, you! Let's mix it up with those guys. Sure thing. Just keep my back clear, okay? Now, they're in for a nasty surprise. that low life so that's done ha they shouldn't have messed with me then I can finally fulfill my mission I've lost too much time already what sort of mission ah yeah first I have to get into the city and then later ah, I don't know how I'm going to get all that done in time what about me hmm why not you could take the letter into the city then I'll have a bit more time to take care of my equipment one of the bandits must have the letter in his pocket. Take it to Vatras, the water mage in the city. You'll find him in the temple of Adenos. He preaches there all day. Tell him that I wasn't able to get it done. And if he asks where I am, just tell him I'm already on my way to the meeting point. Okay? Oh yeah, one more thing. First buy some decent clothes from the farmers. Otherwise, you may be taken for a bandit. Here's a couple of coins. Can you teach me something? Sure. You know that. Man, they really took a lot out of you. You can't remember anything at all, can you? I want to learn your abilities. Sure. What do you want to know? With soft souls, you have a better chance of getting close to your opponents without them noticing. That's better. 
You've forgotten a lot since then, but we'll get it back. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to plunder. Who do we have here? You're on your way to the city. Am I not right? Maybe. Hmm. <coughs> you look like a fugitive. All fugitives are headed for the city. You could even be a former convict for the mining colony. I don't care where you come from, but I believe I have an interesting offer for you. What do you have to offer? The way you look, the guards will never let you into the city. I can help you get into the city. I have here a small piece of paper with the royal seal and the governor's signature, a pass. With this scrap of paper in your pocket, you can run about as raggedly as you please, and the guards will leave you alone. Interested? There must be a catch to this. No, no catch. You will merely owe me a favor. How will you get into town? The guards know me. I will simply tell them that I have lost my pass. What do you want for your pass? I knew you were the right man. Listen, you will get the pass from me, now. Just like that? Just so. But if I meet you in the city, you owe me a favor. Do we have a deal? Sure, give me that paper. Here, 
Be careful with that. It is very valuable. Uh, one more thing. Don't even think about breaking your word. As a merchant, I have a great deal of influence in the city. And it wouldn't go well for you. Believe me. Show me your wares. Take your pick. I've got to go. Suit yourself. Why are you hanging around on my land? Whose side are you on? The rebelling farmers or the king? I'm for the king. For the king? <laughs> That's what the city guard said when they took half my sheep. But where are those bastards when we have to keep the bandits off our backs? Where will they be when the orcs invade us? I'll tell you, in the city, behind thick walls. So leave me alone with the king. What's going on here anyway? Don't you know what's going on? Boy, where are you from? We're on the edge of a civil war. Up till now, all the farmers looked at the tribute to the city as fair taxation. But since the paladins have come to Corinus, the city guards visit us more and more often. And little by little, they're taking everything. If it goes on like this, soon we won't have anything left for ourselves. Some farmers are starting to rebel. Onar was the first of them. Tell me more about this Onar. Onar is the biggest farmer here in the area. He is broken with the city. They say he's hired mercenaries to keep the city guard off his back. Can't blame him. In any case, no royal soldier dares to set foot on his farm anymore. Who are those mercenaries that Onar hired? I don't know much about the guys. Supposedly a lot of them are former prisoners from the mining colony. Everybody knows what you can expect from them. What about you? Whose side are you on? Peasants or king? I'm too close to the city to really have a choice. But I'm glad about that. I wouldn't know how to decide. The king is bleeding us dry, and Onar sets his mercenaries on anyone who won't join him. That's why most of the other farmers are still undecided, but sooner or later they'll have to choose one side or the other. I need some sensible clothes. I can give you clean farmer's work clothes. Can you pay for them then? Well, you could work off a part of the price if you're someone who's looking for work. How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. 80 gold pieces. Well, that's still too expensive. Well, suit yourself. I'm looking for work. I can't use another farm hand, but I could offer some work to a day laborer. Well, what I mean is, you can lend a hand in the field. And there are certainly a few other things to do around here. I could pay you with gold, or give you a few decent things to wear. The things are worth a fair bit. I can't give them to you for nothing, but I can sell them to you cheap, if you work for me. By the looks of you, I should say, take the clothes. Anyway, the small turnip field next to the barn needs to be harvested. All right. Then hurry it up a bit before I change my mind.
Hey, stranger. I saw how you came out of the mountains. You can be glad you didn't come by here three weeks ago. We would have taken you for an escaped convict. And we made short work of those. You look completely done in. What do you want here? I was attacked by bandits in the mountains. Those filthy rabble. They were probably the same bastards who took one of our sheep last night. You had terrific luck. Most people don't get away alive. Those bandits won't trouble you anymore. Why? Are they dead? They picked a fight with the wrong guy. Thank Inos. Here, it isn't much, but I want you to have it. I'll tell the others about this. I'm on my way to town. The way you look, you'll have to bribe the guides to get in. And you have to know what they want to hear. And that would be? Well, for example, that you're from Lobart's farm and want to go to the smith in the city. But that won't do you any good. You don't look like a farmer. I see. I need better equipment. I can imagine. But I tell you right now, we don't have anything to give away. If you can pay for what you want, Lobart will sell you something. Otherwise, go to him and ask him if he has work for you. Where can I find Lobart? Well, on the farm, of course. The farm belongs to him. And don't try messing with him. He's thrashed a lot of tramps and thrown them off his farm. There's another of those scummy beasts. One less monster around. Here are your turnips. Hey, you're not all that worthless after all. Take them to my wife in the house and tell her to cook them. What about my pay? Well, I can give you five gold pieces or sell you the clothes cheaper. Well, what's it to be? Make me a better price for the togs. Good. I'll give them to you for 10 gold pieces less. Another look, gummy beasts. One less monster around. Hey, you. Psst. Hey, you. Come here. What is it? On your way to the city, and really busy, too. Listen, you look like a smart guy to me. I bet you'll go far in life. You're certainly nobody's fool. I could see that right away. Say, you'd probably like to earn a few gold coins, wouldn't you? Are you hiding from someone? Of course not. What nonsense. I just enjoy standing among the trees so the wind won't blow right into my face. What about you now? Do you want the job? Cut the crap. Tell me what you want. You see, that's exactly what I mean. Nobody gets anywhere with you just by using pretty words. I knew it. I'm dealing with a tough businessman here. You're a businessman and certainly interested in a small addition to your purse, aren't you? You don't look like someone who has gold. Well, I certainly don't move in the same circles as a gentleman like you. But you won't refuse my small contribution to your surely considerable fortune, will you? Well, what do you say? Can I count on you? Why not? You'll have to forgive an ignorant old seaman. I'm a stranger in these parts, and I don't really know all the rules. So I had to find out the hard way that traveling strangers aren't welcome in the harbor city. Now I'm standing here with no idea how I'm supposed to get into the city. I have some extremely important business to conduct, and my client won't tolerate a delay, you see. 
You'll help me find a way to get past the city guard, won't you? About the city guards? Yes, got an idea. You could get into the city as a herb gatherer. What? Do I look like I'd be picking flowers in the woods? What about bribery? Well, if that worked for me, I'd have tried it already. I have a pass for the city. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to act like I'm a citizen of the town, or what? Take a look at me, boy. Nobody's going to believe that. I'll have to think about it first. All right, but hurry up about it. I've got no time to lose. And how goes the work? Well, same as always. Lot to do, not enough money, and with a bit of bad luck, the orcs will come tomorrow and burn down our farm. The king's paladins have occupied the whole city, but I can hardly believe they'll move their butts out here when the orcs attack us. Can I help you? I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about working in the fields? What is there to know? Ah, in that case, I think we're fine here. Thank you. If you want to work for Lobart as a day laborer, I can only warn you, he pays people like you really miserable. He offered to sell me some clean clothes cheap if I helped out on the farm. Hmm. Well, I don't have anything for you to do, but you can bring me and the boys something to drink. Fetch me a bottle of wine, and I'll tell Lobart you were a real help to us. <laughs> Here's your wine. Uh, I'd better not ask where you got it from, huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, who cares? Well, thanks, anyway. Lobart will only hear the best about you. I'm headed for town. And? Is there anything interesting you can tell me about the city? Nope. But Maleth goes to the city from time to time. Maybe he knows something. I mean, something that would interest you. Is there any interesting news? I could have sworn I saw an orc over there on the edge of the woods two days ago. Since then, I've kept at least one eye open at night. Hey! Can you give me something to eat? You can come back for more tomorrow. I've got a few turnips here for you. 
great. That should be enough to fatten those guys up. Since you're here anyway, I saw a traveling trader pass by here a few minutes ago. I think he stopped on his way to town. Go to him and see whether he's got a decent frying pan for me. Give me the gold and I'll go see the merchant for you. Are you saying I can trust you? Just don't spend the money on booze, do you hear? Here's your frying pan. Fine, let's see then whether it's any good. Hey! How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. You've worked the field for me. You helped my wife. Vino says you were real help to him. And that's saying something. He doesn't usually hold with day laborers. Malith said you chased the bandits off. The bastards have caused us a lot of trouble. Thanks to you, we're rid of them. Forty gold pieces. Give me the work clothes, then. There's a chest in my house where you'll find clean things. But don't even think about taking anything else without asking. Hey. About the city guards. Yes, got an idea. They should let you pass if you're wearing these farmer's clothes. That's just what I need. Man, I know I could count on you. Nobody will bother me disguised as a local yokel. <laughs> Excellent. You did really well. Here's your promised reward. What? Fifty measly gold coins? You can't be serious. Gold isn't everything, my friend. Take them for now. I have the feeling that we'll be seeing one another soon. And who knows, maybe I'll return the favor. Look after yourself.
better off myself. He can't keep anything to himself. Really? How interesting. These are bad times.